Hello guys, welcome to Solving Solutions, your number one channel where you get solutions to all your solving problems. It's nice having you in class again today. How have you been? We are going to show you how you can um, create um, grids from surfaces. You know, let's say you carried out a tax and then you want to generate more points for that tax. So let's say you have a topo survey and then you want to generate them. Um, more points for let's say to improve your topo survey or let's say you want to generate points at a um, regular intervals right good so you've actually gotten your xyz which is um, something like this right good you have your xyz and you want more points for your xyz within your project area right good. within your project area or let's say this XYZ you have, they are not well graded and you want to grid them at let's say a constant interval or let's say at constant intervals and generate more points. That is what we are going to show to you on today's video. So thanks for coming to class. If you're coming to the channel for the first time, you can encourage us by subscribing and if you are a returning viewer, thanks for always um, checking up on us. So the first thing now is that um, we need to create a surface with this our data right good so we have what our xyz here so we are going to copy this our xyz data to notepad and then do some formatting right all right so this is notepad then we just paste it there so we now have our data on notepad we have what is in northern and the height right good and they are separated by a tab so we can just decide to save this right okay so we are working on a folder called um, greeting and let's just give it um, a name let's call it grid right good let's call that grid and let's save that so we have our xyz which we are going to now import to what to AutoCAD and then create a surface from it and it's not actually a new thing on the channel because we've actually done it over and again on some other videos right so the first thing is what to use the shortcut import yeah import points right good use the shortcut import points then um, under the file name or let's say yeah select file rather or selected file you just click on add file right so you just click on that all right on that folder you've actually created we are working on folder greeting we just select grid and then we open or you can decide what double click on that particular word on that particular file then we have our data the format is actually what is the northern and height separated by what a space right good space delimited so these are preview or let's say the preview of the points we've actually imported so let's add the points to a group so we just um, try to create a group for it so let's call that um grid please pardon the spelling there we have a um, grid there so we have what the data we've actually we are trying to import the format and then we've actually created a point group right good so we just click on okay So yeah, the points have been what imported. So just um, try to zoom to extent. Then you can now see what the different points that we've actually what imported. However, you can see each of the points are being um, the display. We have what the description should I call it description and the elevation. So we can decide to just work on that. You come to what the point group you've created. You right click and then you go to the properties right. Good. So we have what the, the point elevation and the description. However, we just need only the elevation. So we can just say elevation only and then apply. Then the point style, the basic is still fair enough. If you don't want any point style, you can use none. Or maybe you can just uh, modify to the size of the point. Even the size of the elevation, you can just click on this to, what, to modify that. But we won't do that. Just apply and then OK, right? Good. So you now see we have only the points. So the next thing is for us to create a surface. The surface is what will now help us to now start our, should I call it um, interpolation or something? Because 
we are trying to create some random points still within the surface maybe at what at a um, regular intervals right so let's come to surface you right click and then you go to what create surface right good so this particular surface um, let's call it um, grid so let's call it grid i think that's the most important thing the description can be left out the style and the render material so let's just click on ok so we have the surface there let's now add our point so we just go to the point groups right click and then we click on what add points right good so the points we are adding are what the grid the grid point group that we've created so we apply and then we click on ok good so we have what our surface created it's actually a very beautiful surface as you can see our contour lines are well what depicted and this um, shows that it's actually from what um, somewhat a topo data and then um, the points are points are enough quite enough right however we are just using it for an illustration so let's say if your points are not this much or even if they are more than this and you need them at um, regular intervals when you created at regular intervals or let's say don't have so much and you want to generate more points you can still follow through right but so now this um, particular surface it's actually we don't need the contour lines there so we can just go to what the surface and then click on what the particular surface then under the and then go to properties right right click and go to properties so under the surface properties the style we can just change it to border only and apply because um, we don't um, need um, those contours right good so we click on OK. So we've actually imported our points. We have a point group. We also have what a surface. Now let's look at um, the other next very important thing on this video. So let's come to points. We can actually bring that in using what the import points um, command. But let's just um, go to points and then click on point creation tools. Right, good. Now under this um, point creation tool, so let's say the pop up, let's now select them. Um, this particular option that says surface on grid and then click on this drop down now on this drop down what we want to do is that remember that we already have a surface we have a point group and what we want to achieve is to maybe generate more points yeah within our surface or to generate more points still within our surface at regular intervals right good so we now come to yeah what's the option again we come to this particular option which says what surface on grid right then we click on this drop down then we now click on this on grid now upon clicking on that the command or let's say the input is for us to uh, to specify a grid base point we need to select a point that is actually outside all of our points so that all of our points can fall within that particular grid right so remember when you're trying to plot your graph your highest and your lower your lowest values right so you have your range of values that should be lower than your lowest and then higher than your highest or something so i think i think um, this should suffice for that so we just select this point so that point will now serve as what our base point the grid base point you are going to see the grid very soon then the the grid rotation let's leave it at what zero degrees so we just click on what enter or you can use what the space bar now depending on the size of your area depending on the specification given and depending on maybe what you want to achieve you can decide to use a um, different what um, grid spacing right good so on this video we would use um, something like let's say 100 by 100 now you can use 100 by 100 let's say you can use them 25 by 25 you can use 10 by 10 depending on the specification so what it means is that the distance between the first point and the second point on your x-axis is 10 and the first point and the second point on your y-axis is also what 10 right however we are using 100 so the distance we just do what 100 meters to the x and what 100 meters to the to y right so we just click on enter then we also select them um, 100 and we hit enter right now um, you can see grids have been automatically generated over our screen right but that's not what we need and it's now asked that um, we specify this the 
upper right location of our grid that's now help us define a grid good so this is what i was explaining earlier we now have what a box right good now this box is like the range that all our point covers and the essence of having it outside your point is to ensure that all your points fall within this box right good so the next thing is what them um, change size or rotation of grid i think we should um, use no so that's um, n right enter good now it's asking us to enter a point description now the essence of entering a point description is for you to be able to um enter description of points that are now other than or let's they are different from what you already have so when you are now exporting because remember that you are going to export what your xyz data very soon that's the next step when you are now exporting those points those um, interpolated points or let's say yeah, those generated points that we already have from our grid right good when you're trying to export those points you will now see the description on a particular column right good so for the purpose of this video let's just call it um, sh right and then enter so you can decide to be hitting the um, enter button yeah on your keyboard until maybe you get to the end right good if you look closely if you look closely you can see what some points are being generated right good if you look closely you can see some points have been generated and the reason why it's like that is the extent of the project area and what the grid interval size we have what we have used for this what particular exercise so depending on what your project area depending on the grid interval size you've used your process can be faster and it can also what be should i say slower or whatever the case is so for us not to what, spend longer time, we are going to just escape. That means we are going to stop. However, if you have a productive job which you want to cover the whole extent, you need to what, allow it to continue, right? So let's just what escape. We've actually generated some grid points. You can see them here. We actually generated some grid points, right, within our surface or let's say within our project area. So the final part of this video is for us to what, export. So we go to what we go to output now remember we already have a surface right the surface has its point xyz and we've actually created another another set of points within our surface you can see them here right so upon coming to output we can now click on what export points so under the um, export points um, shall i say dialog box we are exporting our points as what pen ZD, right good that's a um, point is the northern um, elevation and description right separated by a comma so that means all the points we are going to export will be giving us this particular format right and we are still going to see where our spot height which we use them sh where our spot height was started from so let's give it a destination so we just click on that So still on our grid folder, let's just call it, um, um, should I say interpolated or something, interpolated grid, right, good, I don't know if that serves right, but um, let's call it interpolated grid, I didn't spell that right, good, let's just call that interpolated grid, and remember that we have what CSV, the essence of having it as CSV, just that it's compatible with um, Excel and can easily be what manipulated without having much issues so just click on open right good just click on ok and you can see the points exported next thing is for us to go to that folder access that file and then open it good so we have the folder we are working on which is what grading and we have what our interpolated grid here so we can just open that perfect so you can see rightly that um, we have what a spreadsheet of data we have the points the eastern the northern and the elevation then the description now the reason why you don't see description here is that 
this set of points here are the earlier or let's say the initial points that we are what that we are imported to AutoCAD. So by the time you scroll down, you now see the new set of points that what we are actually generated. Are we together? So you now see what your points, your eastern, your northern, your elevation, and let's say what your what your description, right? Good. So you now see your data completely. So with this now, you've actually generated or let's say you've actually created some random points. You've actually created some random points within what within your grid, right? Within your grid. So let's come back to this. Let's go to points. I just want to get it right. You've actually created good. You've actually created some points on your grid. Yeah, not some random points. You've created some points on your grid at specific intervals, or let's say at what specified intervals, right? Good. So now these intervals, let's say this interval will now help you maybe generate um, a better spot height plan or maybe a better contour plan or a better topo map or whatever the case is, right? Good. So, this new data you have, you can actually still copy it out, move it to AutoCAD, and then you can still what plot it to confirm what the data you have if they are still within or if they are actually within the range of data you've actually been what if they are within the data you've actually been working on right good so i believe we've actually provided a solution to this particular solving problem i just want to check something by adding a particular point here let's see how that goes good so it's still okay. We have the elevations that um, actually shows the elevation within the surface. So we believe we've provided solution to this particular solving problem. We've shown you how to import the point, create a surface, actually generate um, those points within your surface, those grid points within your surface, and we've shown you how to what, export the newly generated grid points and the other grid points. The coordinates of those other points within your surface to what to Excel or let's say to a CSV file and assessed on what Microsoft Excel. So we are going to see you on our subsequent videos. Until then, keep staying safe and have a very good time. Bye.